We are back. We are back. What's up, Minnie? Yes, you are watching Stranger Palooza. We're doing uh, military vehicles with Walter. And uh, this is his uh, Pinsgauer. Walter's Pinsgauer. It's pretty cool. We're going to take a look today at the Pinsgauer. And then he's got a half linger that we're going to take a look at. So stay right there. These things are all weird to get into if you're over three feet tall. I guess in the olden days people were tiny. Austrians are not that small. No? No. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, going around? I don't know if there's enough room I can actually look around behind me. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. We'll try it out. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so Walter, let's break it down for people. We're looking at a Pinsgauer, we're looking right. at a Halflinger. Right. Um, are these from the same country? Yes, from Austria. Austria. The land of Schwarzenegger. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Steyr, Steyr Poop. Um, Steyr Poop has made Steyr everything Poop. from mopeds to full-size trucks, like similar to the LMTV. Right. Machine guns for, for the Germans during World War II. Mopeds. Yeah, they're you know, making guns today. Oh yeah, yeah, still Hand guns and rifles, yeah. 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 So very cool. So, uh, we, did you? All of these came from military surplus auctions. Yeah, or? yeah. Well, I did. Uh, there's a company in our um, Arkansas, uh, Swiss Army Vehicles, and I bought both these from them. Oh, from the same company. I got company? that one in 2006, and this one last year. Yeah. So this is Peggy's. Yeah. This. this, this so yeah. that's Mama Bear. Yeah. yeah this yeah. is Papa Bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, okay. line, the lineage is uh, this is a '68. This came before the Pinsgauer did. So okay. the Austrians, so, the Austrians, this was the first Austrian military vehicle made after World War II in Austria. Okay, so let's spin around this and tell us the details of it. Okay. Is it amphibious? Is that what is this? A no, that's a blackout light. Black, okay. Yeah. So right, but cool. no, it's not amphibious. It kind not of got that shape, but it's not. Okay. But four by four. Four by four, lock, locking differentials, uh, high and low range. It's got like a a, cr uh, a crawling gear too where you just Mm, 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 just can let off the gas and idle a little bit. Right. Um, what was what was something like this used for? Um, kind of like to use a jeep. Um, okay. Back here, there's a version of this where there would be another set of seats here, so it'd be four people and a top over oh, the top here. Okay. This is more of a kind of like a cargo version. There's sides that come onto they can be put onto this into these holes. Just easier. I took them off for get easier on. to get in and out. I for, think you recently painted this one. Yeah, right? it was painted a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Batteries over here, spare gas tank, I mean spare jerry can over here, battery. Um, the engine is a two-cylinder air-cooled, um, opposed, opposed cylinder, kind of like a BMW or a, or a, what do you, I want to say, I'm going to say, like a BMW motorcycle or a, okay. a similar type arrangement. And yeah, Beetle, Volkswagen. Yeah, Ford. yeah, same idea except just, yeah. except two cylinders instead of four. Okay. The air cool is nice because you never have a problem with leaking water and overheating and things like that. Um, especially in a cold environment like in Austria up in the mountains. You don't want the radiator to be freezing and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So. But anyways, that's, that's how that works. Cool. Um, yeah, 12 inch, I mean this little bitty, 12 inch wheels, spare tire. It's got a couple toolboxes over here. Another one of these boxes over here. Yeah. Here, open that up for Lola again. So hey, I've got a, I've got a strap and a just an ammo box in there to store stuff. Okay. Um, what do you guys use this vehicle for? Parades and fun. Okay. Pretty much. It's street legal. It has a tag and everything, so you could drive it around town no problem at all. It goes about. Yeah. This is like Peggy's go kart, basically been go karting kind of, us up and down. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, top speed's like 45. Yeah. It's good. 45 in this thing, you're. It feels like you're going <laughs> faster, yeah. So, uh, anyways, yeah, it's just for fun, and it's, it's cool. the collectability aspect of it. So, mm -hmm. um, stick and, shift, yeah, um, four speed with a with a crawling gear and then reverse. Uh, 
uh, pretty straightforward. Um, What's the 444 in the windshield for right here? I, that was must be the number that they had over in Switzerland. Okay. Um, but before I do it, um, the Pinsgauer here had a number on the, uh, some lettering on the front too at one time, but I found out later that means failure. Like when, oh. they did their, like when they did their inspection and, and, they, oh. and, and they said they don't need it anymore, so they said it failed. It's out. Okay. But, yeah. So yeah. tell us about the Pinsgauer. What year is this? Uh, Pinsgauer. This is a 1981 81. M712. There's also a model called the M710, and the 710 is four-wheel. 712s are six-wheel drive. This has, once again, locking differentials on all, all three axles. Independent suspension, so it's got a decent ride off-road. Um, on this side, you got a battery box and a toolbox. Um, this one here is set up kind of in like a troop carrying cargo configuration. Okay, is this amphibious? Not at all. No, it doesn't okay. swim swim. It supposedly up up to this level here without having a snorkel. Okay, so um, okay. I've had it to, to some there. level. To some yeah, level, yeah, it could yeah, do. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's air cooled four cylinder. Okay. It has waterproof ignition or similar type ignition. Where's the engine on this one? Uh... Right in the middle between the two front seats. Oh, okay. It's inside so, there here. You want to take yeah. a look? Yeah, go around. So yeah, engines, engines up inside of here. This cover all completely removes if you need to work on the engine or service it. Um, you can get like probably three people in here, right? Uh, no, it's a two-person no, ride. It's a two. I okay, mean, yeah, it's not designed to. Be oh, because that's the motor. Right, right, right. Okay. So these are the these levers here are to lock the differentials. Um, plus, there's another one over here for the high and low range. Um, right now, when I brought it up here, I switched everything in. So, um, it'll crawl over a lot of stuff when everything's locked in. Oh, cool. But, um, pretty much standard configuration for a vehicle. Shifter, and a steering wheel, turn signals. Being air-cooled, there's no temperature gauges or anything. It's just a fuel gauge and a speed gauge, speedo. Uh, windshield wiper, basic heater. Yeah, and this one's kind of a troop carrier if you right. come down. How many can, people can you get back here? Well, I figure two per seat. And there's, so that'd be uh, two, four, six, twelve. Yeah. Plus these things fold down to create a flat deck in the back. Nice. So, okay, so it's got this kind of diamond plating like. That's a European. I'll drop it down. Yeah, diamond That's a plate. European style diamond plate. Yeah. So this whole thing can go like that and then you can, you can use this like a flatbed. You can use like a flatbed, you can throw an air mattress back here and sleep. Mm -hmm. The sides roll down. Oh, nice, um, yeah. The Pinsgauer is uh, kind of modular in a, that you can unbolt these sides and top, and you can, you can end up with just basically a flat deck here. Mm -hmm. um, take the doors off, take all that stuff off, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these things act as uh, almost like a roll bar. So this right here says Swiss Army yeah, this Pinsgauer? Swiss Army Surplus, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, all wheel, uh, all six wheels drive. Is that the gas tank? Spare jerry can. Oh, jerry um, can. For okay. here, and then the fuel tank. Fuel tank, okay. right there. Yeah. Very nice. So, um, is so this also diesel. It's gasoline. Gasoline. Five speed. Yeah. Okay. So this one at, at like uh, what like um, value wise, something like this. What are people to, looking to at? To buy right? one now through the surplus market, they're about twenty five thousand. 25 okay and then by the way if you look here at the wheel Walter put these on the front so he can help climb in there to climb in yeah yeah you like know, a hub with it it's step. pretty easy to do the step but yeah you've heard of dub step that's hub step yeah hub, hub step yeah. without it you gotta kind of yeah you know it's it can be challenging for some folks right okay so this is like around 25 yeah very cool and um, we the, see these when we go to SEMA all the time right but they're yeah but you keep yours original because we see the ones that are all hooked up. Right, they're all uh, yeah. uh, rhino lined and, and stuff like that. So yeah. So something like the um, half linger. Half linger. That one yeah. there was twelve five. Okay, I don't know if the yeah twelve five. And right. they're constantly going up in value. This stuff is not going down. Yeah. So Walter says the half linger is like around twelve and a half yeah. uh, on the value for that. Um, and that's on the lower end of things. If you get one with nicer condition and some more accessories you can easily spend probably close to 20 grand so really yeah. okay yeah. very nice and you guys just keep them like in the condition they would be in if they were in the military yeah, yeah i like them that way yeah, yeah. and then you, and then all of these things you guys use for um parades, parades and... occasionally going off road You're right, um, right different maybe going to a shooting event and, and and milling around in the muddy stuff 
Yeah. Um, like we did with this, we took this out last night in, a, in an area in the back here that's kind of muddy. Mm -hmm. First time since I painted it. But, yeah. Um, These are really cool. These would be great for going camping or something like that, right? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, either one. Either one. I mean, that you could have more people with you. Right. You could be more comfortable this in would be it. This great. I mean, people use these on farms and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. I like it. Nice little yeah. vehicle like to get around the hacienda on. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're all six acres, you know, you just can't yeah. see to the end of it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but if you if you go on the internet and look on YouTube and stuff, just over in Europe they have treffens, you know, where mm -hmm. they all gather and they go. Yeah. And there'll be events where there's like 20 or 30 of these things all out in the woods doing stuff. And yeah. Yeah. So. Having a good old time. All yeah. right. Awesome. Walter, thanks for sharing these with us. Um, you guys should subscribe to the channel here if you're not already subscribed. It's uh, Stranger Palooza. Subscribe and then ring the bell so you can be notified. We appreciate that. We're putting all of the uh, auto related stuff over on Stranger Palooza. You know, uh, also make sure you check out Safety Harbor Firearms. And stenparts.com. Yeah, stenparts.com. That's what we do. You know, Walter has like some great stens that we're shooting all the time. Yep, yep, yep. You know, we do, we do a lot of stuff. Plus, we do the podcast on uh, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. All that good stuff. We're out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Do you want to do a spin around? Okay. Yeah, getting out.